It's using like Banded Mamoswine, Specs Reggie Drago, and then it has like the Moltres, right? So you can self policy proc your Moltres using a Life Orb Metagross set. And I actually still think that like that's a pretty decent set. You don't really need Protect, you just go full hand with that thing. And then like a Taunt Tailwind Torn is really nice. The only thing I'd really change here, judging by just the team preview, um, is I don't really think you need Grass Knot on Torn. Like, what are you hitting with Grass Knot? Is that just the takeaway of the terrains? If that's the reason why, I can, I can respect it. Like, if you were to lead against, like, Indity Hat, and, you know, you really want to be able to taunt those things, you really want to be able to make it so they can't expand and force you, maybe you just go for the Grass Knot, but... Thick Swampert. Swampert! Okay. All right. Swampert and Gastrodon. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling the Grass Knot, but you know what? I also, like, really overvalue Protect on Tailwind Setters. Because what's going to happen is, like, if they do wait out your Tailwind, their numero uno way to, like, maybe regain control is on the last turn of your Tailwind to hit your Tailwind setter so you can't recast it. And so a lot of people really have that playstyle. It's not maybe as important in this gen as it was in, like, 2017 and 2015. But I know the value of running Protect on your Tailwind setters because it helps you block Fake Out turn one. It helps you uh, live long enough to reapply the Tailwind, but... If it works, it works. I think Grassy Terrain also potentially could make it so your Metagross takes reduced damage from Earthquake. But also, you deal reduced damage with your own Earthquake. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think it's going to be a fun team to lie with, though. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, the only... Another thing that actually is really nice. So if you look at the team, it goes Mamoswine, Drago, Moltres, Tornadus, Metagross, Sylveon. And so the, the Tornadus and the Metagross being next to each other makes it really look like it's the Brutal Swing Tornadus team. And it's not. And so when you lead, like, Sylveon, Moltres, it's, it's right. really good. Steelix? I wonder if that's like Mega Steelix would be so pog here because Mega Steelix gets like Sand Force, right? Uh, what is Steelix's other ability besides Sturdy? Is it Sand Force? I mean, all right, let's see. Let's see how we want to do this because this can definitely backfire. I think Mamoswine is pretty dope here if we just go like Mamoswine with Tailwind because we go Tailwind, Tailwind. They go Entei. I mean, we have to hard switch then, wouldn't we? Hmm. Rockhead, okay, cool. Miss Magic BC, dropping the sub seven months. Yo, can we put some subs up? Is it greedy to want to go like Torn? Is it Sheer Force? It's not Sheer Force on Steelix, is it? No way. I think I'm gonna go Mammoth Swine Torn. I think we have the big potential for the massive EQs here. Um, I also think that like, let me see, check the spread on these guys because I haven't checked the EV spreads. Should just, I just want it to be speed. HP, okay, cool. So it's actually really bulky. Um. Do I want the Reggie Drago here? I actually think we can get away with it. But I can also just go like, I think Metagross is still really nice here. I think I'm actually just gonna go Moltres Sylveon as my last two. And I'm gonna have Moltres try and carry me out of this. Now Moltres is like garbage here. So it's not garbage, but like, I'll bring Metagross. No Reggie Drago this time. We're gonna try these. This is my first game with this team. This is a team submitted uh, by Darth, the numero uno sub gifter extraordinaire on Patreon. It's Rockhead, Sturdy, and Sheer Force is hidden. It is Sheer Force. Okay. Yo, Sheer Force Steelix? Steelix is actually one of my favorite Stealth Rocks users. Uh, even back in Gen 4, when everyone was still using, like, Skarmory as, like, the Spikes Hazard Setter, I stood firm with my Steelix. Because Steelix, unlike Skarmory, got that massive explosion. Yeah, let's see how this is going to go. Yeah, Azumarill's a big jerk. But because we're full HP, I think we're going to be fine. I wonder if I should Quake. Like, I wonder if I should just... No, I think I'm just going to go with the EQ. I want to see how much damage it actually does. I actually think I could just... I mean, you don't want to you don't want Grass on it. Um, I'm thinking about Air Streaming. I could also just Taunt that Crobat. And then Tailwind my next turn to guarantee Speed Control for the remainder of the stream. I think that's a pretty decent play. He could be Mental Herb, but I doubt it. So we're just going to taunt the Crobat. If he wants to attack with the Crobat, I think that's okay. But if he's just trying to trade Tailwinds... It is Mental Orb! Are you real? That's really, really unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. And he goes for the... I mean, we could have just traded Tailwinds, but like, I guess I... I guess I got greedy? Is that greedy? I actually think that's the safer play. Well, that's game. We just lost. Right, there's, like, nothing you can do in that situation. I guess we have to, like, nuke the Azumarill, but, like, that's pretty dumb. I mean, I don't think that Mental Orb Crobat's bad. Uh, I just think that, like, why wouldn't you use Sash? I guess as he wasn't use Sash because he's on the T-Tar team. Uh, we'll see if we can get done. Um, gonna have to Quake there. Not Quake, uh, Steel Spike. And then I guess we'll just uh, go for a Tailwind of our own. 
Yeah, it's so weird that they have the herb. You really don't see that that often. I feel like every single time I use one of Darth's teams, I always fight against that stupid stuff. He's withdrawing it. Okay. Steelix. Okay. Yeah, this is actually still all right. Uh, Grass Knot is going to do a decent amount to Steelix unless he maxes, which is why I don't like the Grass Knot. You know? But getting a good defense boost here is going to be nice. Um, we can go for the big uh, Max Quake. Be super effective next turn. This will potentially break 30. Now let's see what he's going for. Um, we have Sylveon in the back, and Sylveon actually isn't terrible as like a late game, late game cleanup mon. Yeah, we'll see it. He only has we, he has a turn less of Tailwind than I do too. So like we'll see. Turny day, yes, that's correct. Brave Bird, yo, that's totally fine. Take some recoil, chief. Yep. Awesome. That defense boost is gonna really help me out next turn. Make it so we can just avoid a lot of that. Bam. Oh, that's so much damage. So much damage. The real question is, like, do you think he's going to max that Steelix now? I don't think he should. Hmm. I mean, we are going to go for the Quake here. But, like, the question is, like, do I want to Quake or just go for an Air Slash onto the Crobat? Yo, is that Dream Eagle gifting two Tier 1 subs? Douglas, Mesomore, and Death Gengar. Yo, thank you for the sub gifts. I appreciate that. Yo, the first big sub gifts of the day. Dream Needle, thank you so much. I think I'm going to max the Steelix. I actually don't think I need to Grass Knot there. I think I'm just going to Air Slash his Crobat. And this is a good example of like times when you want to try to preserve your Tornadus. Like, I would have loved to protect my Tornadus this turn. That would have been the best play I've ever seen would be protecting it. All right, let's see it. That's a decent amount of damage. I might switch in Sylveon next turn. But, like, you see, like, the value in protecting your uh, Tornadus here? It's so nice. It sucks we're wasting a lot of our max turns. We really only have one more. Yo, sorry about the YouTube money situation. Yo, I appreciate it. Yo, the gift subs, they definitely help make up for that. Thank you so much. I like this new emo. It's a good emo. So, Steelix goes down. I have a plus one defense, plus one specialty. You're legit. Sure, you're my legit favorite streamer. Loving the content. Glad to hear it. Entei, okay, cool. Uh, is this Tailwind, like, Dunzo? He has one turn off the Tailwind, right? So he is going to be able to outspeed me, but I do have, like... I think I'm actually just going to go for the Quake into the Entei, because we know the rest of his team now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think you want to double into the Entei. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, if we can get the Entei off the board, I think we win. Because his last mod is, like, Azumarill. And we're going to get, like, a... Yes, that's so good for me. I want to see if he's protecting. Um, he could totally go for like maybe like a sacred fire or something like that. But I think he'll just lose the Entei if that's the case. And he's, he can't sacred fire if he's maxing. And I'm pretty sure Metagross is bulky enough to not get one-shotted by a max player. Just showed us you're a Metapod now. Yo, welcome to the Metapod squad. All right. You think Meta? You think Regigigas is gonna be good? Well, we'll see. But my day's going all right. We got the tournament today. Let's see. He's going for the max card. He's waiting it out. That's actually really smart. He's actually waiting out my double. But now he doesn't have Tailwind anymore. So it's like... Do you see the value, though, in, like, me being able to protect my Torn next turn and then be able to go for another Tailwind? It'd be so value. All right, so I have Sylveon in the back. Snapping back to reality. Uh, we're going to go for this. I think you just got to get the uh, Azumar off the board guess and then like i don't know how we're gonna deal with that entei i don't see oh my gosh she's everywhere with these protects man max guard protects max guard protects oh man he's baiting me and outsmarting me let's see how much damage we do to entei probably not gonna do that much at all not probably not even doing half like a max quake would have done a lot but yeah it's about half and then he's gonna be able to take out my metagross that was a crit wow 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 Handy Citrus Berry. Damn. Crit knockoff. Yo, we take those. Yeah, we're gonna get dumpstered in this first game. I think we would have won if he wasn't Mental Orb Crobat. Because that just really, like, slowed down what we were trying to do. I mean, we're not... We're still probably not gonna be able to get him here. Because I think we're just gonna get Aqua Jetted. I'm pretty sure he's gonna Aqua Jet us. Because uh, we have to retail win here. Which means we can't go for anything good. And then, like... This is Entei's last turn. We'll see what we can get done. Uh, Earthquake's still gonna do a decent amount. If we don't get Aqua Jetted, I think we're okay. But, like, 
We're probably going to get double O-code here. <laughs> now we'll see it. Metagross thick. You think this can, if I get another crit on the Entei, that'd be nice. That would be nice. How's it going? I wonder if he's going to switch out Azumarill for Crobat. I think that's actually a really smart play to switch out the Azumarill for the Crobat. Because he knows what I'm doing. Unless, like, he switch, or switches out, like... Nah, he's gonna, he, doesn't have to, he doesn't have Aqua Jet. We'll see it. Oh, yeah, we take those. That's big damage. Big damage. Oh, that's so much damage. I think we might be able to get it. We might be able to. Right? Because he's going to have to go for the Metagross. He's going for a Max Quake. Oh, Max Quake's the worst one to see here. Because he gets a special D-boost. And our last Mon is Sylveon. Ugh. Alright, so can he miss a player up or is he just going for a liquidate? If he's going for a player up, that can totally miss. Miss, 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 miss. Liquidate. I don't have that KO. Is that a plus one defense? Yo! And you're orbed! Okay! This is that your last turn, Max? I want to see what the stats on this thing are. Full, almost full special attack speed. Wow, this is a greedy Sylveon set. It's made to work in the tailwind, though. What's going on? We're trying to win our first game with this Patreon submitted team. It's looking like it's almost gonna do something, right? It's looking like it's almost gonna do something. I don't know if we'll be able to kill the Entei, though. I think I can kill the Azumarill if we get single target damage. So, like, we need to correctly target. We still have Tailwind turns. We get the big Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice in it up right now. It's resisted on Entei. The question is, like, who do we want to go after? I think you go after the... The Azumarill, actually. Because, like, if Entei wants to protect, we still need to double target into the Azumarill. Yeah, this is the right play. Yo, we're gonna get it! Let's go! Making those connections. You still don't want to go for the Grass Knot. You still want to do it just like that. we already seen its item. That's amazing for me. Yo! We're coming back! Uh, we're going to be using a mono ghost team in the tournament today, actually. Forgot about the tournament. Your switch is dead. There's still time to charge it. There's the Crobat. Oh my gosh. Are we actually going to get this? It's two turns Tailwind. Uh, all we have to do, I think, is taunt the Crobat and go for a Hyper Voice, and I think we got it. I know he has a plus one special D-boost, but... Do I even need to taunt him? I think I can just go for the KO with my Torn. Am I, am I think Let me think about this. Because I think I can just air slash that Entei. Because if we both trade Tailwinds, I actually want to check this Tornadus' EV spread. Oh, has like nothing. Yeah, um, I think you have to taunt. Yeah, I don't want to get outsped by Entei. Um, so we go for the Hyper Voice, and then I think we have to taunt the Crobat. And if we can kill the Entei with a Hyper Voice, we got it. Yo, I'm gonna put the second taunt up on that Crobat. Let's go. Let's go. Hyper voicing it up. Oh, that Entei is way too thick, chat. He can't tailwind, though. Sacred Fire. Who are you hitting? Hitting the Sylveon. Oh, he just one shot away. Sylveon, no! He just lost. I think that was the right play, though. Because if, like, if I didn't do it like that, he would have outsped me. Ah, we got so close. We got so close. I don't even think that was a misplay. I really don't. Uh, we're still going to try our best to, like... He can miss Sacred Fire, so we have to go after the Crobat, and then we can air slash the Entei. I don't know if he has a move that automatically hits, because he has, like, ground attacks. Damn it! We almost won that one. But, like, we had to do it just like that, because... Oh, he has E-Speed. Um, we had to do it just like that, though. Because the, this Tornado spread has no points in speed. It looks like it has like 12 maybe. Um, and with only 12 points, if I don't taunt the Crobat, I get to go for the Air Slash, which he can totally just go protect Tailwind at that point. So we got super never lucky fighting Mental Herb Crobat. We had to taunt that thing twice. Um, and we had to play just like that because if I let him get a Tailwind up, uh, he outspeeds both my mons like again and I only have one turn left on my tailwind my own tailwind And then he can just go for protects he can go for e-speeds on my torn I actually think he should have just e-speeded the torn, right? I really think he should have just e-speeded the tornadoes, but uh You know, that's what happens. We almost won that one considering like that guy had So many good plays and we almost won that was ridiculous. That's a cool team 
Uh, there isn't really any form of redirection. So, like, I can totally go for a policy proc in this one. I think I will. I wonder what's Moltres' set, actually. Actually, I kind of want to go Mamoswine as well, because Mamoswine's, like, really, really nice. Ancient Power, Shadow Ball, Hurricane, Fire Wrath. This is so aggressive. I think you actually have to just go Mamo. I think you just go Mamo Torn. But then the problem is, like, Suicune. I guess we can just taunt the Suicune. Yeah, I dig this. Because you have to be able to stop the, the Stock Ataka and Metagross play, and Mamoswine can definitely do that. Um, and then the hard thing is, like, this Mamoswine's really bulky, and so is the Torn, so, like, you have to Tailwind. And, like, I want to taunt. And so, like, if I Tailwind and they Tailwind, I'm still slower. You know, like, that's the problem. So, like, I'm really caught in a, par a hard spot where I can't just have regular speed control. I think Metagross is still okay here, but I'm really afraid of the... The horse over there. So I think I'm going to bring my dark type. I think we're going to go with these two for the last last little stuff in the back. And we're still going to be able to win. But I think guys, guys are a really cool team. And I really like that Mamoswine has uh, Oblivious, right? So like I don't, even, I don't even care about that Arcanine uh, and its Intimidate. But if he leads like Arcanine Suicune, it's the perfect example of why uh, I think you want a little bit more points and speed on some of these mons because I can't taunt the Suicune and Tailwind at the same time. Arcanine Spectriker? Alright, so I can just Tailwind this, uh, and it probably be okay. But, like, it's because it's, none of those Pokemon require me to taunt them. Uh, I can probably Oko the Arcanine because of my Oblivious, uh, and unless he maxes the horse, we'll probably one-shot or clock a Sash there as well. So, it's time. Banded Mamoswan dropping the massive EQ. Hopefully we can still outspeed that base 130-mon. I mean, Mamoswan's base 80? I don't know if we can. We'll see. It'd be really nice if we didn't just get one shot by that thing. How you doing, yo? I'm absolutely flawless right now. There, the big tail when no one's Dynamaxing. Yo. It's built different for VGC, but I really enjoyed your Dragapult Lagrimock video. Uh, are you excited for anything in Vivid Voltage? Um, It's hard to say, really. Like, uh, I saw that Aura Beetle, and it was pretty cool. I think it was an Indity that comes out of that set, and it was actually kind of nice. I hope he's orbed. I know he shouldn't be. He's probably just Twisted Spoon, but, like, I hope he's orbed. Be orbed. Yes! Orb! Yeah, we take those. Uh, you still see Orb on it every once in a while. Uh, a lot of people haven't just really caught on that if you're only really using one attack, uh, it's much better to use, like, the lower damage boosting items. You don't get the 1.3, you get a 1.2, but they don't take the 10%, so it's a little bit better. So Staka about to be EQ City, and Metagross, EQ City! Holy moly! If you got Wygar, you could have it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Uh, let's see though, um, I think we're gonna not this guy, because it's neutral. Uh, you could taunt it as well, but I think it's alright. Big banded mammoth swan coming through, that is correct. Yeah, the Dragon Ball Lycanroc video was good. I made some pretty good YouTube content for, uh, the TCG channel. I I'd still like to make more, it's just like right now, with how, like, popular TCG content is all over the world, like, getting actual cards is, like, incredibly difficult. And I'm kind of just waiting for that hype to ride over. This is Mamoswine's Paradise. Yeah, he brought like a whole board of Pokemon that just get one-shotted by Mamoswine. So it's pretty okay. Would Staka have a uh, defense investment? Yes, but that's why we're using it. Banded Mamoswine. You better not like Grabby Chief. Like, I, he should. Like, I wouldn't even be mad. Like, I want to see more people use Wide Guard. That's a good amount of damage. EQ, EQ, baby! He has a Shuka Berry. Good thing we doubled into that slot. I still think he's dead. Yo. One-shotted. Boop, boop, boop. Let me take those. And then next turn against the uh, Metagross, we're golden. We're just going to max our... Uh, probably just going to max our Moltres. And then we'll be golden to go. I wonder if I one-shot with Fire Wrath. I think he might be vested because I, I didn't see him get a weakness policy proc. So it looks like we're going to be okay. This is a perfect game to show off this team. Get him, Moltres. Show him what you're working with. Dynamax. Darkness. And did you have a policy proc? No. Just the defense proc. Just the defense proc. I, I guess I'm just going to go for an air slash. <laughs> IDK, if I want all three Mamoswine, Regilecki Torn on my team... Or decide on either Lucky or Torn. I don't think Regilecki is a good Pokemon. I don't think it's a good Pokemon. It's fast, right? It can do a little bit of damage, but like... Coco brings so much more to the table at like the same base speed tiering. The speed tiering of fast. You know? That's probably the 
tested. Like, everyone's like, yeah, but it can go for screens really fast. It's like, so does Grim Snarl. Wow, that thing's totally vested. He's so vested right now. Hailstorm? Yeah, you don't have that move unless you're, like, so vested. Bye, Tornadus. It's okay. Is he gonna max guard me? Do we have any more How many turns of Tailwind do we have? I wanna see. If we have, like, two turns, I'll style on him a little bit. If we have two turns of Tailwind, I'll style on him. Specs, Electro Ball, Regiwechi hits like a truck. But, like, you shouldn't be using Electro Ball, first of all. Because, like, it does a lot less damage to things that are actually fast. You should just use Thunderbolt. Um, and that Pokemon is so one-dimensional, right? What if they resist you or have, goodness forbid, a ground type? I was only one turn Tailwind. I shouldn't style this hard, but I will. Darkness. I'm gonna fuck it. Let's go. Quick attack. Oh, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Yeah, like he's good until you run into Lando or Garchomp or even like a Dragapult. Like the Pokemon's bad versus Dragapult. Like every single set that I've seen people use Reggie Lucky with, I would much rather just have a Grimmsnarl. I can guarantee set my screens without getting pranks or taunted. Um, I have a lot more bulk and I can deal a lot more damage. And I also have a, a solid Dynamax option. And I can, you're like, but Reggie Lucky checks Beanie. It's like, so does Grimmsnarl. Just you power whip it, you know? It's like. Just gotta, gotta go back to the drawing board for that Reggie Lucky. I'm really surprised he's running Feeny with the Drago. <laughs> and I wonder if he knows he like cuts his own stats. Oh, we should just go with a board that does not care about an ability, right? We should just go with a board that doesn't really care about abilities. So that means you don't really want to go Sylveon Moltres because like we'll get our thing turned off. We don't really need to go Torn. I think Mamoswine's still really good. Because you can ice attack the, uh... You can ice attack those. I'm thinking about going, like, Moltres Mamo, actually. Because, like, Moltres, we can definitely just hard-check that Lando. I still think you want to bring Sylveon. Yeah, I still think you want to bring it. But it's a weird bring. And then I think you either want Metagross. I want to check with this Metagross. It doesn't have Bullet Punch. I think we're going to be Torn. In case we just need a secondary Monica case cares our Moltres, so we can just continue to EQ spam. Let's see it. Are you cosplaying your game character? No, my character just looks like me. Now let's see what he does. We're not over tunneling on the Gigas. I'd say we're respecting the Landorus more than like tunneling onto Regigigas. Yeah, go for it. I will earthquake the crap out of that wheezing. I want to see if it has an air balloon or something. All right, so let me check this Moltres set. I have actually haven't seen a lot of the EVs on this team because I wasn't given the paste. All right, so good. We got we got speed. Awesome. It means I don't really need to care. So we're just gonna EQ. I bet I can one shot the wheezing. Um, and then I think you just want to start getting speed boosts here. So we're actually going to go for an airstream and a gigas. Hope you're good. This team looks tasty. It's a good team. It's going to max. Probably going to be getting the gigas. He's probably protecting with the wheezing to like guarantee get like one big turn. And he's, he's faster, right? He's faster than our Moltres is right now. Like if I were him, I'd definitely be protecting with this wheezing. You know, they don't always, they're not all scarfed like the way I run it, right? So we'll see uh, how this is going to go. And then if he takes out the Mammoth Swine, I guess this will be kind of hard to take out that Weezing. Uh, it will be kind of hard because, like, we don't really have a ton of options. Yeah, we'll see. I wonder if I even die. It could be, like, Life Orb. And maybe I didn't respect the Weezing enough. Maybe I didn't. Like I said, I think I over-respected, like, the Feeny Wando part of the team. And what is I going to do, you know? What do you, what do you want me to do? Yeah, they love to protect to turn one. It's going for a max strike, so we're pretty much going to be trading, which is actually really bad. Oh, he's hitting that target. Oh, we almost died. Ooh. Crit? Okay, that really sucks. Um, because you see how much damage he did, an extra 1.5. But he should have done about 40%, and he ended up doing, like, a lot. Uh, he's going to take a lot of damage on this Gigas, though. Like, a lot of damage. That guy's still so bulky. But the, uh, what is it? The 
the way I'm looking at this is he's striking, right? He's not using, um, he's not giving himself his own speed boosts. So like anything I bring out in the back is still gonna be like really good. Like Tornadus, this is where I wish the Tornadus had like more speed investment. He's gonna go after the Mammoth Swine this turn with the strike, I would say. And this is a bulky Moltres too, so it's not supposed to do that much. I wonder if he can one I mean, He's gonna one-shot us, I'm sure. If he does that much to a Moltres, he'll one-shot us. And then I guess we just have to take this time to like maybe go for... I don't think that we KO the Weezing here at all. I'll, I'll nuke that slot though. No reason after this Gigas at this point. Yeah, we'll see. Mamoswine's still at like its base, but it's gonna be hard. Max strike. Oh, he's incorrect. Unless he's gonna try and like burn me. I think that's fair. Try and burn. I go for will o -Wisp or something. You still might die, Chief. You better hit too. You better hit this will o -Wisp. What about Zlumberry? That'd be so pog. Take that orb damage. Dazzling him. That is not it. My man. You have made mistakes in your life. They will not be... <laughs> they will not be forgotten. Yeah, neutralize Gaspar's off. How's it feel, bro? Alright, our Mammoth Swan is slow as shit right now. But I still think it's good to bring in the Torn. Dazzling Gleam. Oh, you thought I was going to switch, maybe? I was not. He's small brain? I mean... I wouldn't... It's hard to say, really, you know? Like, what, what is he supposed to do? Alright, so let's see how we want to handle this. I outspeed the Gigas and can just go for Air Slash there. I think you want to switch in the Sylveon to block a Drago attack. And I th I think we still... I think we have to go after the Regigigas. I don't know if it'll KO, though. I'd love to get a Tailwind off here, but I can't take this... I can't just let him max strike me, even with that Regigigas. I cannot. I cannot. Tailwind? He Tailwinds me! <laughs> Alright, that's actually really good, because like my Tailwind next turn is going to like counteract that. I don't think it's going to KO anything. Yeah, it does a lot. It should, it'll make it so the Air Slash actually KOs. Yeah, we're going to Tailwind next turn. Tailwind Latias. I didn't know that Latias kept Tailwind. Actually, like, I don't think that Latias is supposed to have Tailwind. Am I wrong? I am I wrong? I actually... We're on ranked. How is he tailwinding me? I Because I, I shouldn't be punished by this. He doesn't get it, I don't think. That's really weird. Am I wrong? Like, we're on ranked. I'm going to hyper voice him. You have to have something weird here, right? Uh, the tournament starts at 11. It starts in about 20 minutes. Yeah, that's what he has. Hyper Beam? Psychic. Pretty sure he gets it now? At level 20. That's busted. Dragon Energy. Go for it, Chief! Go for it, son! That's nuts that they just gave it. I mean, it's good. I mean, good. It's about time. I might have to run some Latias teams now. That it just gets Tailwind. Right. Hyper Voice. Big damage! Where are you looking? Oh my goodness. Yo, they just they just stayed alive. Ow. Have I shard? Oh, yes. I shard. Quick attack. Uh, what was his last mod in the back? Oh, he has nothing in the back. We just win. Yo, this fe feels amazing, man. Let's go. One, two, three. Eyes on me. Save the Sylveon because of Regidrago. I'm surprised they still brought it. Yeet. Nice tail one, bro. Double priority. I don't see if we can KO here. I didn't even have to do this. I just wanted to. Oh, come on. The, the strongest. This is going to do one damage. This is going to do one damage. One. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. All right, all right. You guys ready? You guys ready for the massive play? We're going we're gonna to help him out. No, we can't helping hand him. That's fine. 
I'll just do it like this. <laughs> I wanted to give him a helping hand. I wanted to help him out. You should be able to, you should totally be able to help hand your opponent. That's dumb. You know, we're not, we're not enemies. We're working towards a common goal. Again, when I see like this much fake out, it really makes me want to like try and tunnel their fake out users into something that shouldn't be fake out. Like I want them to fake out the wrong target. You know, I'm totally doing this, this game. You got double fake out users, but we'll see how you want to play it. Mamoswine's good here, I guess. Moltres is actually pretty nice here too. Let's go. Metagross would be nice, I think. But I think I can get away without it. Because I think that I think the Moltres is gonna be a harder Pokemon to deal with. For Metagross especially. We're gonna try and steal the game with Reggie Drago. If they don't lead correctly, they lose. If they do not lead correctly, they lose. We also have to worry about the fact that like we both have like prankster mons in both the genies, and his just, just outspeeds mine, because we're using a really, really bulky torn. And, and as much like shit as I'm talking on Bulky Torn, Bulky Torn isn't bad. I just feel like the fact that we're pairing it with like other bulky mons means that like we don't already have the speed on those mons to be able to make the taunt play work, which means if you're not gonna get any value out of your taunt, like you might as well cut that taunt for protect. Cause like right now I can't taunt that torn. Right? I'm still going for the dragon energy. Dragon energy tailwind. Immediately. And you want to go for the Tailwind here because it forces him to go for the Thunder Wave. Or like a, a Taunt of his own thing. He's protecting. Awesome. I will take the damage. Are we trading Tailwinds, Chief? Because I get mine first, which means you're eating a Specs Dragon Energy. So if there's one thing they can eat, it's Suicune. I would not be surprised to see an Icy Wind here either. Icy Wind would be so good for him. Let's see it. Big damage. Specs. Oh my gosh, it's so much damage. <laughs> There's a Tailwind. So we're trading. Uh, that's really nice for me. Because I just outspeed you. Bro, just Dynamax explosion. I don't want to miss. I don't think you're maxing that Suicune. Oh, no. What, really? He's going to max the Suicune on me? Bullshit. <laughs> you have to max in the Torn. It's probably a physical one. Yeah. Awesome. Low battery, uh oh. I'm gonna get my charger after this game. Well, they're always next month for the tournament as well. You guys can still sign up. Helping hand, yo, he wants it. This is gonna be a single target into this guy. Oh, just kidding. I ain't doing anything this turn. I get zero damage dealt. Yeah, it's a power trade tail ones. We kinda just lose. <laughs> I'll at least be able to take a speaker now. He's orb too, so he's totally he's totally physical. We're gonna be able to take the Suicune out though. Alright, so let's see what we actually do. Mammo might be good enough here, because we're using a bulky enough set. But he's gonna whatever comes out is gonna be like fake out mon. So like we have to just kinda let him do his thing with his fake out mon and then bring out our real threat. I think that's probably the best way to play. So we wanna bring Moltres out here. We can also play the air shimmy too, so he's super fast. I wonder if I should hit the Incin. I wonder if I should just try to hit this Incin. I'm not gonna max here, obviously. I don't think it's worth it. Do you guys think it's worth it? I don't know if it's worth it. Because he's just going to electric attack me. Yeah, I'll just do this. It's fine. We don't need to do it in there, though. We can totally go after the instant here. All right. There's the fake out. And he's going to just one shot this guy. And then the fake out will be on cooldown. And then maybe we'll be able to like get something done with our Mammoth Swine. We might have to max the Mammoth Swine. I wouldn't say that's not cheese. What do you mean cheese? This is totally not cheese. This is just the game. This is what happens when, you know, you use a team that's really aggressive. You fight a team that's just as aggressive as you, and you get really sad. Alright. 
It's actually de Oh, ancient power proc. Oh my gosh, yo. Moltres got an ancient power proc. I'm about to max it, yo. I'm thinking about it. If I had protect here, you know I'd be all about it. Oh, you're just talking about cheese. What about cheese? All right. Bruh. Tyrannus has a speed boost too, so I can't even like really catch it. I know he's gonna one shot me here. And then like, what does he have in the back? It has to be Rillaboom, right? So it's like, Mamoswine is just fucking humongous sad energy. I have to do it like this and I really don't want to. I mean, because we're wasting our band. We have to do this. I, I would definitely put, uh, I would definitely take the protect. Sorry, I would cut Shadow Ball on this Moltres for protect, for sure. Because, like, we also don't need to lower their defense with, like, Moltres. Because, like, we're a special packer anyways. If I had ability to protect Moltres and do this play, I would. 100%. Hundo Pacento. Because we wouldn't die because we have, this, like, the special D-boost. Max Nuck, he actually knows the Mammo is the threat. He knows. Let's see if he fire blitzes me too. Fire blitz would do a lot at plus one. Uh, I hope I can take this thing out. Another proc. I want it. Ah, damn. I wanted that second ancient power proc, yo. Uh, let's see though. Um, if we can one shot here, we're good. Do you even build teams on stream too? Yeah, we do that. Things going down is huge. He has to be flare blitzing my Mammo though, right? And he's going to take so much. Recoil. And then hail damage. And then like, he's going to bring in Rilla and Fake Out. Like, do you see how much value we'd have if we had Protect? Uh. Flare blitz, yeah. Ah, uh, That sucks, man. I guess we could still maybe win, but like, it's not looking good for our hero right now. Cause then Sin has an attack boost too, so like I gotta respect it. I have to like go after it next turn. Like I have to, I have to try to ancient power it. Like if he sends out Kartana, we got shots. You can still sign up for the tournament. You got, oh shit, you didn't? Oh man. I thought you did, we, we just rolled over. Oh, it is Kart. All right, all right. Um, I think you still have to like ancient power and let the sash get broken and we outspeed Kart. So it's like, I think we're in a good spot. I know you didn't bring Rilla Boom, like, to fight the Mammoth Swan guy. Like, what? I want another Agent Power proc. I want another one. Both Tailwind Peter's out, but we had it. We already had a speed boost. Another one. Never lucky. He shouldn't be able to Oko me. Yeah, we dick. I cannot believe it. We win. The power of Ancient Power... And we should be able to get a KO with a Fire Wrath at plus one. I think. Now we take those. He's has Protect. He's just making himself take more Hail Damage, I think. And it means if he has Protect, he doesn't have a... What is it? If he has Protect, he doesn't have a Vest. Fire Wrath should be super effective. Power of power. Uh, this guy probably cannot believe he lost. Yeah, we got him. That ancient power proc turned it all around. He should have hit us, by the way. He should have just hit the Moltres with his Thunderous and ignored the Mammo. Because Kartana beats Mamoswine. This is 100% his fault that he lost this one. So, I don't want to hear it from him. <laughs>